this is the orange pie okay so you're thinking orange pie what the hell is that well it's a better and in my opinion just a more powerful version of the raspberry pi zero two this orange pie managed to get it in aliexpress for kind of cheap so you can get uh, another module where it allows you to put ethernet and a usb connector which i've just added on you can see now right now i'm just building out the casing and the heat sink pretty much screen that stuff on pretty much this is like as i said a better version than the raspberry pi zero 2w you can see how compact it plus it comes with usb c's by default instead of like your old micro usb on the raspberry pi the orange pi is small you can see the ribbon cable that connects to the attachment you can purchase extra from the headphone jack also two usb a's and ethernet and pretty much this is what's included it comes with a wi-fi antenna also it comes with that h618 chip which is more powerful than the raspberry pi's one it comes with this acrylic i think glass housing which is sturdy i mean for its price it's worth it this is what comes to the two boxes a packet of screws and it comes in this like the anti psych bags the other i think motherboard screws just to hold up just these spaces yeah you can see compared to nothing here these are small that that motherboard itself is small so you want to know how you can turn your orange pie into a nas let me show you first thing you want to do you want to go to the computer first another operating system without the GUI interface so you want to have orange pie download page so once you're on the devices page or you can go to go on the main page find service and download download and in my case it will be the orange pie 2w orange pi 0 2w then you want to go on to Deb debian image go on downloads usually click on the newest kernel version you want to make sure you download the bullseye version of the software because only uh open media vault only works on the bullseye version of the operating system make sure you download just the linux version without the gui interface just download this once it's downloaded to install it into the memory card right here you will need a program to, to copy it into the sd card which is called blatching etcher blatching etcher i don't know but i'll just leave a link in the description below so you baby should download it and start downloading it open it click on flash from file find the file that you downloaded in the image open the image get your sd card reader plug that into your computer select the disk or sd card and you want to click flash okay let that finish okay place that in the orange pie connect it all up once that's connected it should start flashing on the orange pie in order for us to boot into orange pie you would need to find the ip address of the orange pie there's either two options you can either go to the router settings and find the list of ip address which correlates to the orange pie or you can download a program called angry ip you find your ip is you open the terminal and you want to type this exact command ssh root make sure it's exactly at the ip address that you found once you've sshed into the orange pie you will come up with this prompt just type in yes there's two passwords you can use the one in the docs mentioned about one two three four but in my case times when i've tried it it's orange pie so if orange pie doesn't work then try one two three four Yep, so once you're in the terminal of Orange Pie, you will get this screen as you can see and all that with the stats. I'm going to write all the commands in the description so you can just copy and paste it. apt get install and you just do this so you can just do two commands. You can do two commands in one go. And then apt update, update and apt is dash. Once that's done, I'll get back Shit, to time all right we have one more command to install this should take sh way quicker than the other two commands that we just did so we go to that website and we copy and paste paste that and, and wait for that to install and then come back to it so once that's done installing so yeah my camera decided that i mean my dumbass forgot to charge the battery so that's why you don't see any face cam for the rest of the video once you have got that command to finish download you want to get the ip address of your orange pie again and put it in the browser it should have like a gui interface so you can see you can the password is 
the username is admin and the password is open media vault once you're on there log in once you've logged in you'll come on this main page go into your discs and you want to format your disc before you even mount it to your nas so wipe that make sure everything's been wiped do a quick wipe once that's done you want to go into file systems go on the hard drive that you wiped then click that choose that and then save it always before you do any confirmations or always accept all changes once that's done go into your shared folders just name the folder you want to you want it to be so when you log into your nas it will pop up with the folder name so just, of course got a name it'll better than raspberry pi because it is select the drive that you mounted and yeah leave the administrator as default so read write and stuff like that and user read write once that's done save it changes to apply then go into your users and you want to create a user so they can log into that nas and have access to it so just create as like for example user one and password maybe as password or something something simple for now then you can change up later in the future once that's done save that and make sure you apply the changes where it shows yellow box so yeah once it once the user has been created you want to go onto your share folders click on the folder that you created and select the permissions or read and write permissions for the user you just created save that and then it should come up apply change as usual and the next step is to allow your mac or windows to see the folder via the network you want to do that by going to the smb and select all the default details and then once that's done you want to go into shares and select the folder that you created so it can be seen over the network yeah leave these all default and all that stuff save the changes at the bottom and apply as usual and there we go you have working nas on your orange pie now to connect to it you want to go into your finder in mac once that's been connected to the server will prompt up with the login details that the user you just created so tap that in the one and the password connect to that and there we go you have access to the nas over the network now let me do a test by creating a folder just name it untitled folder or testing whatever and let's drag a file into that folder let's see how quickly copies it shouldn't take that long depending on your speed or so drag a video one of my tiktok videos into the folder look how quickly transferred now let's try a wallpaper that recently are in the work leave a comment below if i should drop a pack of them if you want to download them for free so you can see let me I'm open the wallpaper right now and there we go look how quickly it responds to it and that's how you connect your pc to a nas storage using the orange pie leave a comment below subscribe and do the usual stuff peace